Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I love working graveyard. I feel like this is the best, the best shift, the best time that we can make a difference as, as cops because this is when, you know, people are breaking into homes, stealing cars, robbing people. This is when all the in-progress crimes are happening, so this is our best chance to catch those people that are committing those crimes. So we're trying to catch up to this chase. This deputy's chasing the car that's failing to yield and they're right up ahead of us here. It looks like we're taking 38th Ave. Are you slowing down? Took 38th. Attempting to pit him. Uh, pit is successful. Appreciate uh, it. Switch that. She's continuing to go. I am now number one. Uh, we just blew the intersection at 152nd on 38th Ave. Still refusing to stop. Still eastbound. You going up the hill then towards like the military? Correct. Looks like she's cut her lights. She uh, she's not really sure what she's doing. Looks like we're turning up. She just crashed. Turning up uh, a little dirt road here. Looks like I'm not sure what the dirt road is. Going to the top here. Did you make it to the school or is that that dirt road? That, that dirt road, we've hit a gate. We're going up. We're going to the dead end here in a sec. She's going off road here into it. She just, I think we're going to bail here. We should prefer to bail and we should like, you know. Get on the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground. Stand on your back. My glasses? I can't see without them. Thank you. That's it, sir. So we're gonna cut this lady up. She don't want to stop in the chase. I'm guessing she might live here. Hey, show my siren off. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's your, what's your name? You can take me to jail. That's it? You can take me to jail. Well, obviously, we're going to take no, you to jail. you can take me to jail. What's your, what's your name? I need to speak to an attorney. You cannot talk to me. Thank you. Take me to jail. Do you live here? I don't live here. How come you don't want to stop? How come I didn't want to stop? Yes. I will not tell you. OK. So I'm guessing you want us to impound your dog, too. Right? I, I will give you my name if okay. I can put my dog up. Up where? <laughs> On the chain. No, I can call somebody and have them come get your dog. Oh, you, it, it's already here. OK. Just take me. I remember I gave you the opportunity to have your dog go home with, with the family, right? I'm giving you every opportunity to avoid the, an, the animal, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. You're going to scare your dog. Knock it off. <laughs> See, now you got, you got the other dog all, all, all riled up. <laughs> got the other dog up. Let's go. All We're right. Going. We're going. We're going to that flashy car there. Come over here. Thank you, sir. Any weapons or anything on you right now? No. She just has a phone and her ID and her bra. My, oh, yeah, there it my is, ID huh? is there. Are you, are Makeup you in the bra. Are you going to tell me your name? No, sir, I'm not. You can take me to jail. Well, obviously, I'm taking you to Thank jail. Thank you. You take me that. to jail. All right. You know, we're, we're going to take that the, the ID out, right? You can't touch me. There's not a female officer on hand. You cannot touch me. He's, he's Please. touching you. Legally, you cannot dig in my breast. I didn't say we were going to dig in your breast. You breasts. said you were going to take my ID out. You Correct. can't. You Correct. cannot. There is not a woman here. There is not. Saying, there you, is not. You, are, you have to have a female officer here. You are Thank correct you. about that. I'm a right? diabetic and I have right. high blood pressure. So you want the fire department to come check on you? My out cuffs here. have to be in front, though. No, they don't. They're too tight. Don't tell me the rules. Will See? you feel this? No. I'm going to loosen this one up for a sec, OK? Better? Still too tight. 
They are not. Look, I can put my finger all the way through them. It's still too tight. They're, they're it's not too tight. Still, it's still. Yeah, hurts. they're gonna hurt. They're, they're handcuffs. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Well, don't vomit, cause well, that's not my car. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna call the fire department. After, okay. All right, hang could on. You, could you un nope, unloosen? Nope, nope. They're loose they're enough. Nope. Tight. They are not. They keep. Looked like she was going to go through that gate, then at the last second changed her mind and went down the hill. And then when she got out here, I don't know if she just stopped or the car died or what, but there's her license plate there when she came down. She got a dog in the car. Well, it's a good thing you didn't run away, huh? Come, oh, bud. I think you're okay. Huh. It's nice to dog. When she come around the corner, she was completely over in the oncoming lane. So we got lucky that there was nobody else coming down that road. And no answer? No, uh, dog barking up the storm. All right. I'm back, Vic. What is your husband's name? Because he's not answering the door. Wesley. Wesley, does does he still live here? Yes. And Can I just put my dog up? OK. On the chain. Well, what did you think was going to happen if, if you stopped and the dog was in here? We were going like, to impound the dog to the pound or something? Was your license uh, suspended? Do you have warrants? Then, then why would you assume that? Because I would like my dog to be a place where she feels comfortable. Why, why, why did you think you were going to go to jail? Right? Might I, by chance, be able to hook the dog up? Not right now, no. no. And I will answer more of your questions if you well, let me hook her up. Well, how, how do I know that? I'll shake it. I give you my word. I shake it. I give you my word. I'll let you know that you're going to jail for the looting, obviously, right? And your, your dog is being taken care of. All right. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. It can be pretty serious at times, but when you get to work with a group of guys and gals where uh, you guys get to know each other real well, hang out after work sometimes, kind of builds a family environment. It's not really work anymore. It's, it's more fun when you come to work. So uh, we're coming into this community right here to set up a safety checkpoint. They've requested more of officer presence through our community meetings. And what we're going to do is do a checkpoint tonight and just kind of help our officer presence in the neighborhood and help them out with those issues. This guy just pulled up to the checkpoint. A uh, lot of movement inside the car. I don't think he's going to stick around too long. Aaron just saw something. Take it off. Uh, we got his vehicle nearly struck a couple of our officers, so we're going to be in pursuit of him right now. 1050. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get him, boy! Hey, he's running right there to the left. Chris, stay right there. Black male, white T-shirt. Hey, come out to me. My dog's going to get you. Come out here. All right, hold what you got right there, Chris. Don't go too far. Hey, come out here. The dog's going to get you. You are surrounded. Hey, they got him. Watch that bad man. Hey, you good? Watch that bad man. Stand up. Stand up. Hey, you can walk him out straight ahead of you right here to the right. Yeah, we got to get him out of here. But the fence is wide open down at the end. Hey, brother, next time you run from us, make sure to take your ID with you. We still got your ID. You left it with us. What are you scared of? Going to jail? But what happened? You're still going to jail. So why run? Huh? We got just basically a dime bag of weed out of the vehicle right now. Um, this is what Deputy Salter saw as soon as uh, the guy came up to our checkpoint back there. So, And then he took off as soon as we spotted the narcotics in there, uh, along with over container of liquor. So both bad things to have when you're driving around. What's your first name, brother? Ronald. Ronald. Did you remember handing them your driver's license? I remember so they, they them all that, and he asked me, you know, pull over. And but when he told me to pull over, I was like, no, I ain't got no license. 
you know, what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh, right then, I just panicked and just, just panicked. You know, I was just trying to just get away, basically. Just over a dime bag? Did you, is that why you panicked? Just that dime bag you had in there? Got a little bit of damage. Is that your dad's car? What's he going to think about the front end being all banged up? I didn't see it. You didn't I see it? Yeah, all right. I don't know what's right. what. We're um, gonna, we'll get it towed out of here tonight. Um, I could hit you with a lot of felonies, yes. all right, for the assault with the car, because when deputies are out at the car like that and you take off and almost hit them with the car, that's an assault on us. Not going to charge you with that, all right, because you're being cool with us yeah, and you're talking to us. Yeah, you're going to get a few traffic charges on you and then that possession for the weed, but that's going to be about it, okay? That's you're going to get reckless driving, the failure stop for the police, the, the pursuit, and then I'm going to hit you with that possession of that weed, okay? All you had to do was pull off to the side, We'd have wrote you a couple tickets, call somebody to get your car, and you'd have been on your way. Yeah, you know, Instead I, of going to the jail yeah, like that. I didn't know. You know, I, you know when a situation like that happened, I panic. You know, it's my, it's my bad. It's my mistake. You know, right. I'm, I'm, I'm man enough to admit that. Well, we appreciate it, man. We'll get, uh, we'll get you taken care of, get you down so you can make Boncourt in the morning, okay? All right? Okay. okay um, sit tight. I'll come back and talk with you. Yeah. When, when, okay? All right? He was going way too fast to make that curve, ended up in this uh, homeowner's driveway. He hit the truck. He also hit this, this Kia right here. And then he pushed this truck into the house and into this nice SS that's sitting right here. Man, I don't know how bad that damage is. I think got more damage on the back side. Did he push it into the house? He pushed it into the oh grill. Oh, my God, into dude. The house. See all the brick? I did not even see that. So he pushed it back, and it caved the brick wall in. You the homeowner, sir? Yes, sir. We're, we were down here trying to look at your car, and when we got back here, it got, oh, low. It got pushed into your wall pretty bad. I don't know if you can see underneath, sir, right here. It, yes. he, pushed it, he pushed it back there pretty bad. What'd you hear? I was sleeping. I, I thought something was gonna came through the house. Oh, wow. So I, I jumped up and... Man, so nobody got hurt? No, anything sir. Like that? Nobody got hurt. Wow. These guys just don't think, man, when they take off like that. Hey, I want you to see your dad's car. The choice that you made to take off for that little dime bag of weed, man, could have killed somebody. This is your dad's car, right? Your dad's probably not going to be happy, but look what you did at this guy's house. Not only did it damage this truck, you hit his other car, so your actions hit that truck, pushed this car into this house. I want you to look what you did at that man's house over oh, running for a license problem and a dime bag of weed. Is he in there? He's, he's, he's in there. Let me, let me apologize. You want to apologize yeah, to him? I want to apologize to him, because I'm wrong. This is a homeowner whose cars you just wrecked into. How you doing? How you doing? Man? I apologize. You know, I was wrong. You know, I, I didn't mean I, I didn't even mean to even come this way. But you know, me panicking and making mistakes, bad mistakes, leave bad choices. I made a bad choice and a bad mistake. I apologize to you. I I said, no this right here leading to this, and I'm sorry for that. All right. We appreciate your time, sir. Right, if you bro. need anything, all right? OK. Thank you. All right. Thank you, bro. All right. Don't run from the cops, man. A little dime bag is not worth ending somebody's life over. A little bit of property damage, but everybody's safe, and he's going to jail. That's what counts. I've been a police officer in the city of Chelsea now for uh, 26 years. There's a lot of activities. Very busy city, multicultural city, a lot of different people. Worked in the gang unit, drugs. But my favorite facet of the job is working uniform patrol. OK, it looks like we got two people fighting in the bushes down here. On the left. Yeah, right here. Joel, get me some help. Broadway. Everybody, back up. Oh. Ma'am, stay right there. Stay right there. Oh, my God, I was waving you down, calling that normal. Broadway side of the city hall. He, this girl, I don't know, I guess she looks like me. She was. Well, she took my money. She tried to take off with me. No, I didn't. Ma'am, step over there. Grab my wallet out of my mouth. Oh, so yeah. Sit right here on the wall, right here. Don't move. Ma'am, sit right here. OK. Ma'am, you got an idea on you? I don't have, I live right here on Grove Street, right there. What are you giving me? I was walking up the street. Joel, stay with her. <laughs> Request Broadway, uh, yes, Marble, Broadway City Hall. What's going on? She said, hey, give me a ride. They pulled over. She asked me to give her a ride. Yeah. Next thing you know, my wallet sitting there. She grabbed it, got out of the car, oh, and walked up. away. All right. No. Was that before you unzipped your pants? My pants were unzipped. What are you doing in Chelsea yeah. tonight, sir? I dropped my friend off on Central Ave. So I want you to have a seat right here. Right. And where do you live? Shirley Street? I live on uh, 
Hutchinson Avenue, Wood Park. All right, what brings you to Chelsea tonight? I just dropped my friend off. What street are you dropping him off on? Off of Central, down, off of down Central. by the terminal. All right, and are you in the habit of picking up girls walking in the middle of the street? No, she just said, hey, I need a ride, and I, I stopped. Okay. And you picked her up just, just to give her a ride. Some stranger in the middle of Chelsea. Is. Uh, I think you know who she was. I think, I think you know exactly no, who you're so. picking up. Have you ever been stopped before for any no, uh, violations with John Law? No, sir. No, you didn't think she was a prostitute when no, you picked her up and put her in the car? No, I And you just pick up strangers in the I, middle of Chelsea. You just pick up strangers don't. at 1 o'clock in the morning. I usually don't, sir. All right, have a seat right there. Don't move. Two, kilo, All right, listen. Eight. So he solicited you? He was trying to solicit me. I was sitting well, what here. What did he say? He was like, hey, honey, I want to have a good time. I had a few drinks. I'm feeling a nice buzz. What's going on? You want to hang out? And I was like, hey, where do you, where do you want to hang out? And he's like, well, I want to cross the line over here because I know people around here. I used to build houses, he said. So I want to cross the line. I was like, no, I'm all right. And then he goes, no, you come over here. And got his car, jumped out. He was like, weren't you the girl? You were in the car. No, no, no. I was talking to him from the, like, right here from the car, from the thing. And he got out the car and jumped out. And he goes, weren't you that girl, Jessica, that ripped me off last week? And at what Get point did you here. grab his wallet? I didn't grab his wallet at all. I don't I don't have his wallet at all. I don't, didn't grab his wallet at all. Oh, his wallet was over here in the well, bushes. When you guys, and how'd you guys wind up fighting the He bushes? was fighting me here. He grabbed me from all the way over here, yeah. and he was fighting me. Did he offer you money for sex? He did offer me money for sex, but he was, like, kind of belligerent. And I was like, no, thank you. You know what I mean? And then he was like, oh, yeah, that it's Jessica, come here. Jump out his car. I'm like, I'm calling the police on you right now. Okay. I don't, I'm not Jessica. Is there a reason that his pants were unzipped and your pants were down? No, my pants were down bush? because he's pulling them off. OK. Was he pulling them off, or was he just yeah, coming he off was, when you were fighting? No, he was pulling them off, saying he's going to steal all my money. All right, sit right there. Hello. All right, sir. She's alleging that you solicited her for sex and said that she had robbed you last week. Robbed me last week. I've never seen until uh, thing when I just pulled by here. Sir, again, say, I need a ride. again, her story does not match anything that you've told me tonight. So I need you to be as honest as possible. And tell me what happened here tonight. Drop my friend off. Drive him back to go up to 16 to go home. I don't know my way around Chelsea. She goes, hey, I need a ride. I'm a nice guy. I work with special needs individuals. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, I said, all right, pull over. My wallet sitting there. She reached in the car, grabbed it, and took off with my money. That's it. Is car registered to you, sir? Yes, sir. All right, sir. See if we can square this away. Hey, Miss Fourth Line has 15 on his scorecard. Uh, when I first got into the vehicle in the front driver's seat, there's an uh, open wrapper for a condom and some mouthwash in the glove box. The female we spoke to uh, has admitted she's engaged in prostitution before. The male party had a zipper down, and the female party's pants were down uh, as they were fighting in the bushes when we pulled up on them. There's a used condom in the back seat. Yeah, I think uh, I think we know what's going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Turn around, put your hands back. You're under arrest. Charged with an armed robbery and solicitation of prostitution. But I didn't do anything for solicitation or a robbery. Yeah. From the statements you've made to me and the fact that this gentleman and his wallet is over there, and the statements he's made, you're being charged with an armed robbery, OK? Can you stand up, please? Yes, sir. You're under arrest. You're charged with assault and battery, and you're being charged with solicitation. My brother's a police Excuse me? My brother's a cop, too, sir. He is? Does he know you're over here in Chelsea picking up girls? No, sir. Just pat him down, please. <sighs> How long have you been hooking for? Two years. Two years? Yeah. I need you to tell me exactly what his participation is. I already is got for. arrested for solicitation, okay. so let the police right. deal right. with it. But he he um, pulled me up. Like, I was sitting right here, and he was like, hey, beautiful. Like, I'm feeling nice and buzzing. His penis was on and everything. And I do. So what? I'm sorry, his what? No, I'm not even talking to you guys. His you guys penis? are like making you sense no, 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 ma'am, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to, because no, he's putting it all on you. I don't care. He's it all he on was hitting you. me, so you guys saw right, that. Right, but you just so told me care. something you hadn't told me before about his penis being well, out. Well, because right? I'm, like, embarrassed, you know what I mean? I don't want to, he was trying to date me. I already told you he was trying to date me, and he t told me to go cross the line. Right. And I said, no, I'm not going to. And I you said, tell me his penis was out when he pulled yeah. up to you? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay. Have a seat. All right, just sit tight for a second. All right, sir. She's telling me that you solicited for sex, that you had your pants down with your penis out. Sir, she took my wallet and ran away with it. She took your wallet after you solicited her for sex. No, I didn't solicit her for sex. I changed butts a little bit. Sir, she didn't solicit you for sex, but in your car, you got an open condom. All right, you got the wrapper on your front seat. You got the mouthwash in your glove box. You're in Chelsea at 1 o'clock in the morning. She drops off of my car. She grabbed so my she, wallet and dropped She grabbed your wallet and, and then and framed and you by putting that and, stuff in your car? And ran, up, and ran up that hill. I don't believe you're being honest with us. And the condom wrapper doesn't belong to you? No. The condom in the back seat doesn't no. belong to you? She just put that stuff in there to frame you no. just in case the police came along? 
I have no idea how it got there, sir. Okay. And, and I'm being honest with you. I believe you're being somewhat honest with me. All right, you're under arrest. You can't help me out at all, huh? No, sir. It is what it is. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Two-man car is nice because you can get out and talk to more people. We've got a really good shift, a good core group of people that we all work well together. Um, a lot of us are friends, so we're not just friends on the job, we're also friends off the job. You've got your cover with you at all times. It's also nice working with the same person on a consistent basis because you know what to expect. Everybody's on the same page. We're going to see if we can catch up with a guy on a bike that just rode by us. Uh, it's a guy up ahead of us now. He was completely naked riding his bicycle around, so obviously not something he's supposed to be doing right now. Eight or seven, we'll be out with a gun and bike and fight in Flanders. So that fourth in Flanders? <laughs> Taser, what are we doing? I'm protesting global warming. Protesting global warming. Yes. <laughs> Making people aware of global warming. Do you think maybe there's an alternative way to doing that? Free speech is free speech. Uh, but it's definitely going to hurt if you go down. Huh? It's definitely going to hurt if you crash. That's why I watch the lights and, you know, keep, keep aware. I'd ask you if you had any ID, but I see you definitely don't. What's your last name, sir? Well, look, if I was wearing a hoodie or my pants down to here, would you stop me? We're stopping you because you're riding around naked, and it's a violation of the law. No, it's perfectly legal to be naked uh, as long as I'm not doing anything lewd. Am I doing anything lewd? Okay. It's a violation of city code, so you need to give us your name. Stop. Look, this has been through the court. I can do this. I have a right to protest. Okay. And what I'm just asking for is your name, sir. Okay. I'm trying to be polite. Okay, so am I. Okay. What's your last name? What is it? Your first? Richard. What's your middle, Richard? G. Is that with the G? Yeah. Date of birth? Uh, 1957. All right. Hang tight for just a sec. Do you have any clothing on you whatsoever? I have some back here. Okay. Why don't you hop off your bike and put your shorts on? Color and just so we're clear, Richard, you can't ride around downtown Portland naked. It's not freedom of speech. It's a decent exposure, and you can wind up going to jail for it. Well, that has been gone through court, and the judge agreed that a person does have the right to, you know, do that. It's a virgin. Okay. Well, you can't ride around downtown naked like this. I don't know how to make it any more clear. There's kids out. There's families out. You think people want to ride, walk around downtown? And see that? If you were down here with your kids, would you want to see a guy riding his bicycle around buck naked? Probably not. I know I wouldn't. Well, they don't pay attention. No, I just drive. Well, it's kind of hard to miss a guy riding his bicycle around completely naked. Because, like Officer Shaw explained, if you want to protest, do it a little bit more constructive fashion. It is, in a way. People aren't looking at your message, they're looking at you. 
Okay. And, it, and I have a feeling it's going to distract from your message. You know what I mean? I mean, it's fine to walk around with a sign, talk to people, hand out leaflets, but to ride around on a bicycle naked? I mean, definitely nobody's going to talk to you and hear what you have to say, right? Talk to You're probably going to scare them away. Actually, I've talked to a few people about uh, global warming. You know, we've been uh, when you're running, running around our... naked. Huh? Yeah, I was out in the park, and I talked to a few people. They were uh, talking about they were talking about uh, how uh, people in their private smog machines are uh, polluting the air. We've been putting in more uh, CO twos into the uh, air than uh, when the Earth was molten and uh, volcanic. Uh, this has its uh, climatic effects on the weather. We've had higher precipitation. Now we're having a major drought that's worse than uh, the drought uh, since the 1930s, the Dust Bowl right. era. It's fine, but like I said, you got to understand the distraction that you cause. We get calls. You know what I mean? It, it just puts everyone in a difficult position. Right? Mm -hmm. oh, she's clear. Okay. Yeah, he's clear. So, Richard, do us a favor, ma'am. Right around, protest, get your message out, just keep your shorts on. Because if we have to come out and talk to you again, I'm probably going to end up having to go to jail. Okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Area checking for the subject, 8970. So that's pretty crazy, huh? Just when you think you've seen it all. In the area. I would like to say that that's the first naked bicyclist I've seen in this city, but that's not even close. And it won't be the last. Yeah, that's true. I believe staying physically fit uh, helps out quite a bit in this job because it can go from zero to 60, you know, just in the snap of a finger. You want to be in good shape and be able to do the things that you need to do right then and there. I want to be doing a traffic stop on this uh, white SUV in front of us. It doesn't have a rear license plate. And it's actually going to be taken off from us. Can we go in northbound on McCrum approaching Columbia Way? It's a white expedition. No rear license plate is the, what we got now, but it's taken off. Holy, oh, just went through the uh, street closing sign. Columbia Way, now going eastbound on Columbia from Columbia Way. Eastbound Columbia from Columbia Way, congratulations. Fire throw, my speed's up to 80 now. He's got about a three block head start on me. So we got spikes, we got some spikes on the vehicle. Sounds like they got a good spike on it. We got a couple other vehicles still trying to catch up to it. Columbia and Interstate Place. Let's get that locked down. Okay, Columbia Interstate Lockdown. We're going to stop here. Go ahead, just park right there. Nobody's back there. He's supposedly in here, but just to be on the safe side, if there's no car right there, just hang tight there. Thanks, guys. All right, so we got a perimeter set up. 534, all I got for description on the driver is a white male, about mid 20s, dark hair. It's actually two people, it's a male and a female. Come here, ma'am. What are you doing? Back lot. Do you live here? No. Okay. I was looking for somebody. Come here. 534, did anybody see the female get out? Because I just had a female walk out behind the house and says she's just looking for somebody. Uh, Were you in the white I expedition? Hold on to her, uh, because they're saying we've got a witness here who thinks he might be able to ID her. Five four. I think this is gonna be her. She's breathing kind of heavy. Go ahead and have a seat. Ma'am, get off your phone. Oh, Who's uh, Dakota? Huh? I accidentally yeah, but Is that the guy in the white expedition? If you want to hustle up here and take a look at this other guy they got, make sure he's your guy. Copy that, Lewis. Make sure she doesn't leave. And it sounds like they just went in custody I with the uh, the driver half. Code four, you can have the air. Nothing, no more outstanding. That's gonna be him. Hey, what's up? Uh, so you just want to tell me what was going on? Well, my brother was driving, and I okay. took off out of the car because I knew I had a warrant. When did you take off out of the car? Uh, as soon as he pulled over. Where at? Right over there. OK. So you're saying your brother was driving? Yes, yeah, so there was three people in the car. Three people in the car. And what was your brother's name? Um, I don't know. You don't know what your brother's name is? I know his is? name, but I'm just not going to say it. You just don't want to tell me no, what it is? I'm not a snitch, so I'm not going to say his name. OK. I'm well, pretty sure you guys probably found him already, so. OK. What about the uh, road closure sign? You guys blasted right through that. What were you telling your brother? I know is I grabbed onto the back and I squeezed. OK. What did you t uh, tell your brother when he kept driving down the road? I told road? him, stop, stop. You haven't stopped the whole time. He doesn't stop the whole time. Yeah, because I was going to hop out and run. I'll be honest. OK. Go ahead and have a seat for me. He's double locked and stuff. Yeah. You cool with having him in your back of your car? Look away from me. Yeah. Just seat belted in here. All right, sit tight. I appreciate it. 
All right, ma'am. How do you know him? She's my kid's dad, and we're not getting along. OK. So then I get behind you because he doesn't have a license plate on his vehicle. What happens then? He said that he was getting in the car in front, and I was like. He was what? He was that you were getting in the car in the front of us. And I was like, and I was like, stop. I was like, he's getting us. I was like, you need to stop. And he's like, no. And he just took off. I was like, no, you need to let me out. Like, and what was he saying when you said I need to let you out? Shut up, shut up, shut up. I was like, let me out. He's like, no, you're not getting out of the car. And he locked the door. Where at? Uh, right when we hit the corner. Right at, uh, still in St. John's? Mm -hmm. Right there at, uh, I believe it was McCrum? Yeah. You were, you were oh, because he started to slow, slow yeah. down in front of the truck, yeah. right? Yeah. And you about got out, and yeah. then he locked the doors? And he locked the doors and rolled up the windows. OK. And I was like, no. And this whole, and still during this time, it's just you and him driving, right? Mm -hmm. You're in the pa front passenger seat, he's driving, right? Yeah. OK, nobody else in the vehicle? No, just okay. two. OK, yeah. thank you, ma'am. All right, Tyler. Rita told me that you were the one driving. It's only been you and her and the expedition all day. What do you got to say for that? No comment. I'm not going to go against her. If that's, if that's what she's saying, then that's what she said. Well, because that's what happened. No, because that's my kid's mom. I'm not going to put her in a situation. Okay, that well, she had no problem putting you in that situation. Well, at the end of the day, then that's, if that's her business. We're two different people. Well, this is your chance to talk because we're borderline on a kidnap right now. She's wanting to get out of the car. You're telling her no. She's then screaming and crying, wanting to get out of the vehicle. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, you haven't been honest with me yet, so why would I believe you're going to be honest with me now? I'm going to be honest with you. So are you really going to be honest with me? Or are you going to continue to lie because you haven't told a single truth? True story okay, since we've okay, been sitting here. Story, so are you gonna tell me the truth? Yes, the true story is. is okay, I, then be honest okay. with me and tell me the truth. Because if you start to lie, I'm gonna shut this door and this conversation's over with. Do you understand me? Yeah. Okay. The truth is, is yeah, I was driving. Okay. 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 Uh, she she was saying stop, stop, but I did not lock doors. I did not push her behind her whatsoever, and. Uh, you know, and uh, maybe she was scared, too, because our kids are in DHS. Okay. So that's why she probably, you know, did what she did. And honestly, the only reason I ran because I have a warrant. I don't want to go to jail. OK. So you got the felony warrant, your parole violation for robbery, the elude, obviously, because you took off in the car, criminal mischief one for tearing up the ODOT signs, reckless driving, and then reckless endangerment because she was in the vehicle with you. Yeah. Uh, but I got to talk to my sergeants and some other officers. Is there any way I officers. could talk to her by any chance? Uh, we have to, we'll wait on that. We'll see. All right? OK, thank you. All right, hang tight. All right, ma'am. You don't want to talk to him? No. No. I'm sorry. No. You had to pass his number. Rita, please. <laughs> Stephanie has my money. I'm going to go collect it. It's 500 bucks. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with you. Please take care of my kids. I'll see you soon. I love you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Rita, I said the truth. All right, partner. She doesn't want to talk to you. Can you blame her? No, I can't. All right. Most people come to Boise for the clean atmosphere. It's nestled right in the foothills. There's water skiing within a few minutes of Boise. There's snow skiing within a half hour. There's fishing and hunting, riding four-wheelers, motorcycles. There's uh, endless trails for mountain biking. Your call request 3922. We are responding right now to assist a officer who's on scene with a fight and has probably one male detained. Do you want here? Yeah, fancy car. There's parked right there. There was a gentleman getting into it. He was also pointed out, but I couldn't talk to two people at once. OK. So. Uh, let's find out what's going on here. So I'm just explaining this to you. You don't have permission to search. Hey, I'm not gate. searching the car. Step back. Step back. I'm not searching it. I'm looking in it. OK, okay don't, don't try to tell me what I need to do. Okay. Stay right there and don't get up. 2317, is there a K9 available? Is there something car we need to know about? No, there's nothing, but he, he doesn't have permission to search my view. But I, I am on probation. It's true. OK, how about this? I'm going to start getting all your info, OK? okay so, so. All right. So here, so I did see a fight, but it was not me okay. that was in it. I did not assault anybody. OK. I was not drinking any okay. substance, any, any alcohol. Okay. I'm not drinking. You can breathalyze me. Okay. I'm, I am clean. But I'm see, on probation, but here's the deal, and I bud. don't want to get in trouble. I, if you had been straight up with me right from the beginning and been yes. like, oh, yeah, I saw a fight, and there was this, that, and the other, yep. that would have gone a lot better, right? OK. Right now, you're acting weird. I'm okay. coming straight with you, man. You're acting weird. I'm yeah. coming up to you. I'm trying to talk you to know. you. You're telling me, telling us you don't want us looking in your car. So we're in a little bit of a pickle here. You hear what I'm saying? What What's going on with your car? There's nothing going on. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm very touchy to, touchy to police. I think you guys show very little restraint. And I don't trust you. I'm sorry. A little restraint how? That's just the truth. What, what have I done to prove to you because, I mean, that I'm showing no restraint? I don't even know what that statement means. 
I think the police routinely use excessive force. You've got guns on you. You intend on shoot people? Of course I have There's guns. A I'm a police officer. That's the first thing you do is think I'm going to shoot people, and it's constantly where you, about Where did you force. come up with that? Where did I come up with that? So did I did I come here and pull my gun on you? No, but as soon as I go, you know, sir, you don't have permission to sir, sit down. I'm doing my job. Get out of the way, you ignorant. I'm because sorry. all you have to do is relax. You don't have to get this paranoia that we're going to come here and use weapons on you. That's ridiculous. If you did nothing wrong, just be chill. What was the concern when I walked over the door? You I you freaked no, out. No, you're just trying to gain my confidence to con me into to giving up something, but I've got nothing to give okay. up. Okay. Sir, I... So, so well, let's... Would you, how about this? Can I please give you the names of the perpetrators that I saw do it? Did you did you see somebody uh, get hurt? I, I, did you I see somebody the, get punched? I did see somebody get punched. I know these, they're, they're co-workers. So now it makes a little more sense. You didn't want to get caught up in the whole thing. You know these, these are friends of yours. I don't want to get involved in this. Uh, okay. Thing. All right. So I'm going to ask you the question, because there is a drug dog coming here, and the dog will run around this car. If the dog alerts, that's what I'm concerned about right now. That's not going to be an issue, right? That's not going to happen? No, sir. OK. If the dog doesn't alert, we're going to leave. It'll be that simple, OK? Nathan, the dog alerted. That gives us probable cause to get in that car. Just tell me, man. Is it something small, a little weed? Is that what it is? Just talk to me. I don't want to incriminate myself. OK, so you're telling me just basically what you're saying is there's either a pipe in there or there's a little bit of marijuana, OK? If you tell me right now and it's just some personal use, here's what we'll do with it. We won't take you to jail. If you tell me straight up what it is, then we'll just deal with that, which might mean a ticket. There, there is a pipe in there. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Where's it going to be? It's, a, it's in my trunk. In the very back? That's all right. All right. You guys are real jerks. I'm not concerned that you like me or not, Nathan. I'm still being fair to you. All you had to do was say, hey, yeah, I saw a fight. These guys were doing this. She would ask you a few questions and probably left. You went into panic mode. All right, just going through the other containers in the vehicle. And a little bit of marijuana. Paraphernalia, some pipes. Hey, Nathan. OK, so this is the Pelican case you're telling me about. OK. What do you got to say about that? That looks more like that gets used on a regular basis to me than just every now and again. Is that right? Um, on weekends. So it's a party kit? Sort of. OK. So I just pa carry it around in a bag instead? No, party in a box right there. I like it. I don't like it. I like the fa I, I like the I fact think, that you're I think organized. I you appreciate the, the tactical Pelican case, but <laughs> I do. I do like that. Well, I was raised a redneck too, you know. I, I ain't just a total pussy liberal from from Oregon. You know, I got a thirty out six, and I'm, you know, a man. I'm a, I'm a free American, and you're arresting me for for doing something the the founding fathers used to do. This Smoke, is wrong. Founding fathers were smoking weed. They were growing weed. And there's good evidence that, that Thomas Jefferson did use weed as well. But, I mean, the, the fact is, you're, you're taking something that's in there that, that doesn't hurt anybody. I mean, how is this not totalitarianism? You know? Nathan. Okay. Is, is marijuana legal in Idaho? No, it's not. Okay. It should be. Am I upholding the law by taking that and away from you? You're upholding an unjust law. Okay. All right, we're being cool to you. We're going to give you a ticket, and you get to go free tonight. But all that stuff you have right there is something that you're going to have to address with your your probation officer. Work it out there. How is that right? So I, I have a little bit of fun on the weekends, and it stays with me forever? That's not right. Then don't have fun on the weekends. Stick with just alcohol. Go ahead and stand so up. So what, I can beat other people up? The alcohol okay. is terrible. Whoa. I, I hope one day I can do what I want to do in my free time and be within the law, too. And then we can get along. You know what? I can help you with that. You're just in the wrong state. I know I am. I'm trying so hard to get out. If you want to smoke weed, you're going to need to move to a state where it's legal. I'm trying. And that's that's a decision that Idaho has made to stand firm on that, whether you like it or not, OK? 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. OK, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. 
1047, 1047, Kansas City on 4360. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 